Okay, so I was working in Illustrator last night and I created a water droplet by accident, actually, and thought, do you know, I've done this before a thousand times. I've done it a really ridiculous, more complicated way. I've got to show you guys how I did it. And yeah, this is the simpler way to create a water droplet in Illustrator. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky. This is the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how I created a water droplet icon, a really easy way, by accident, last night whilst I was working on a project. So we're gonna jump to the screen now. And you can see I'm now in Illustrator, new artboard, doesn't matter what size, 1920 by 1080 if you are interested though. And I'm just going to go and grab the rectangle tool over here, hiding under the ellipse tool. Just left click and hold and you get that menu pop up. And with the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift. Holding shift will make it a square, just so you don't skew out of shape or anything, unless you'd like a skewed water droplet, I suppose. And we're gonna turn off that fill. So we just have a black outline. And then from the property inspector, we're just gonna bump up the stroke. If you're on an older version of Illustrator, however, and you don't have this properties panel here, just go up to window, down to stroke. There you are, you've got all of the same options, or well, most of the same options. So we have a square. Doesn't look quite like a droplet, but wait, what we're gonna do is hover over the corner, see the rotate symbol appear, and we'll start rotating. Now, if we hold down shift on the keyboard, it will snap to a 45 degree, degree? What's a degree? It will snap to a 45 degree ah. rotation. Perfect. I'm just gonna move that down. It's gotta be in the middle got to be in the middle. Okay, next, with this selected, I have the main selection tool selected at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the direct selection tool, and then you've got these little kind of circle anchor points inside of the main anchor points. So I'll hopefully zoom in on the screen so you can see. You can do this with the main selection tool, but sometimes it doesn't pop up, so I just use the direct selection tool to select these specifically. And I can click and drag and round off the corners, and you can round it off all the way to a circle if you want. But something you can also do is select specific corners to round off. So if I left click on this one over here, you can see that the icon, that little circle changes and I can round off this one corner. Oh, there we go. Slightly interesting shape, kind of like Wi-Fi on its side. So what I can do now is I can actually left click on this one on the left. We'll hold down shift. This will allow me to select multiple points and then this one on the right. So I've got the left, the bottom, and the right all selected. Remember, these are the little circles inside the edges. They are not the actual anchor points themselves. So with these three selected, just left click and drag. And there you go. You've, uh, you've got a water, water droplet shape. Did this purely by accident. Had to make a video on it. So I hope, uh, hope this is helpful so far. I'm gonna finish this icon off though. I'm just gonna left click and hold on the line tool. Go to the arc tool. Left click, I'm gonna hold shift again, just so I don't get some weird skewed arc like that. So we're just gonna get a nice quarter segment here. And I can pop this in the corner, maybe scale it up a bit. If I just zoom in here, just so this width around the edge stays consistent throughout. So I don't want something like this, it needs to kind of run along that edge. Looks much nicer. And again, from the stroke panel, or the property inspector on the right, I'm gonna change the cap to a round cap, and I can actually click on the shape itself, and go to stroke, and then change the corner type, and just round that off, and that does absolutely nothing, um, <laughs> because this top one, uh, I think the stroke is set to align to the center. There we go, so if we align that, Instead, no, it was aligned to the inside. Now it's aligned to the center and I can align it to the outside. And you can actually see that little kind of rounding of the corner in effect. So it depends what you align the stroke to. So I had it aligned to the inside. So you don't really kind of get that, that corner rounding. But if you align it to the center or the outside, you get a nice little rounding effect there at the end. And what I could even do is just thicken up the width. So we'll go double the width. So this is a little bit thinner. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's the quickest way to create a water droplet icon all in Adobe Illustrator. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you.